every single detail counts towards being a good photographer. It's not just about taking good photos or having a good camera, and more if you are a beginner. If you are a beginner, you don't have the quality yet, so you're gonna have to be very professional with the way you talk to clients, the way you communicate with them, how you approach them, how you send them the photo proofs for them to select, and how you deliver the final shots. All the process with a client, not just taking the pictures, are gonna make you stand out against other photographers, even if you are a beginner. You're gonna be able to look super professional, even if the quality is average. And then people are gonna talk about you and more clients are gonna come to you. So this is very important. So today I'm gonna show you two main ways to do it. There are millions, okay? I know that so many of you probably know other ways and that's totally fine. I'm gonna show you my way to help you or maybe give you an idea of how you can do it as well. If you like it, you take it. If not, that's fine. There are other ways to do it. So one way to do it is through your website. So I'm gonna do it through my website to show you because even if I use a square space and you use something else, you're gonna be able to do it anyway. And the second option is if you don't have a website. If you don't have a website, you should have one because this is super important if you want to stand out and be a professional photographer. But if you don't have it, that's fine. You can do it this way, I'm gonna show you, and it's free. You don't have to pay any third party app or anything like that, and it's super easy. And there is even an app for the phone, so you can even do it on the go. It's super, super good. So let's go first to Lightroom to show you how to do the low resolution pictures with a watermark. So you make sure the client, which normally I trust my clients, but you never know. So that way, if I put a watermark, I know they're not gonna steal it, or even if they steal it, they're not gonna be able to put it anywhere. It's just for their own records. So I'm gonna show you first in Lightroom how I do it. So if you go to Lightroom, I have here already a catalog from one of my photo shoots with an actress in London. And by the way, I do have a blog about this day. You have the full behind the scenes of this photo shoot which was super, super cool on my channel. I'm gonna link it down below, so go check it out because it's super cool. So this is the photo shoot. Some of them, because they're already edited, it's a photo shoot I finished time ago. You can see they're already color graded. Then I would launch this in Photoshop. But anyway, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna select all of these, Command A, and then you go to File, Export. And this is to export the proofs in low resolution. So how I do it, I would put here Export to Hard Drive, then I put here export to a specific folder and I will put here new folder. I put Mariana actress or however you want to call it. Create. So you create a folder and you choose it. That's it. Then the rest I don't touch it. File naming is to rename the file names, but I don't use it. Video, nothing. File settings, I always put JPEG and color space sRGB. And then in quality, I put 100 because if it's very low resolution, the client is not gonna be able to see the photo properly and it's not very good. So I show you know how I do it. So here, I don't limit the file size to anything neither. But here in image sizing, I do put resize to fit long edge. And I put always a thousand pixels so the files are smaller to upload. And resolution, I put 240, so it's not 300. Metadata, I leave it like it is, I don't mind. And then, this is super important, and I have some presets here, but I show you how it works. You put edit watermark, and you would create here your own watermark. You would put here your website or your name, and then here you can choose the font you want to match it with your brand then. Align, color, the shadow. So I do have some presets. As you can see here, it's very gentle, but it's cropped because it's vertical. So I do have another preset here, which is fit, and here it doesn't lose the name, you see? And it's in the lower part of the picture. This is gonna be up to you. You can put the watermark in the middle and with more opacity, but I think this is very cheap. Don't do that because I see many beginners doing this and it looks very ugly. You cannot see the picture properly and the client gonna be like, okay, it's clear, I, I cannot steal your picture, you know? It's a bit too obvious. So what I do is put it in the lower part of the image and a bit um, how do you say, with low opacity, so you don't see it too much, but you can still see it. I think it's more classy doing it that way. So I will put this one feet in the lower part. Then this I'm not gonna explain because it's very obvious. You can check here and play around and you will see how it is. You press done and that's it. You selected the folder, you selected the pictures, you selected the watermark and you would press export. And here you have it. It opens right away the folder. So as you can see, the size is only 200. So this is very small and this is 
crucial because otherwise it's gonna take you forever to upload all the pictures. Now I just selected 40 for the video, but normally you're gonna have maybe 200, 300, 400 pictures. So they are gonna be so many. So you wanna make sure they are at low resolution, but enough for them to see. So I'll show you more or less. This one is the first one, but you can see what I mean with the watermark. It's obvious, but it's not like super obvious. So now the next step would be to go here and then this is my website and this is a Squarespace, okay? So you can use any website you may have. I don't know which one you have. You can comment below so I know which one you are using. I love Squarespace. I talk about the Squarespace all the time and I'm not a sponsor, but I think it's very good. So I'm going to show you with the Squarespace, but check in your own website because I'm almost 100% sure you can do it as well. Maybe not this way, in another way, but very similar for sure. So here, I would go to pages of my website and you can see here main navigation. So these are the sections of my menu. You can see them here, you see? So everything I put here appears on the website, but then you have another section here which says not linked. This means that they are not linked to the menu. So all these you see here that I disconnected, they are from other clients because I did what I'm gonna show you now. So one way to do it is in not linked, Press plus and you can create all of this with a square space. So I would create, for example, a page layout because this is way easier than doing it myself. I would press gallery and then, for example, I will take this one, the first one, and I will title it like the name of my client, Mariana. You go to edit. This is super easy with the square space because, I mean, I'm going to skip this. Uh, because you can customize everything, it's already done. You just have to swap the things and that's it. You don't need to be a graphic designer. So here, what I do normally, I even put the name of my client. I put it center here. And then here I put maybe details for her, like please select up to 12 pictures for me to edit. I don't know, for example, it's not what I put, but it's for you to have an idea. Edit section, this I do it smaller because it's very big. There you go. And this I'm gonna put it in the center. There you go. Okay. So now here you edit the gallery. I delete all the images. And then you click here to upload the images. So you would go here to the desktop, Mariana. I'm not gonna upload all of them because otherwise we can be here forever. But you select the proofs, open, and that's it. Close. And you see here that the pictures are cropped, but that's fine because this is because of the gallery. You put edit section and you go here in gallery type and I think it was this one. There you go. So it shows exactly the pictures like they are without cropping. And I put more columns as well so the client gets to see more and I put full or full bleed full. So you have here all the pictures for them to see. I mean, I didn't upload too many. And then what I would do I save this, I go here to the settings of the page, and then I put a password. So I would put Mariana, for example, and then here in URL slash, make sure you put the name of the client, Mariana. Save, and that's it. So you would pass this link to the client with the password Mariana. So the client would get this, and it's super professional. So the client get the link, and they see this because it's protected by password. So they put the password you give them and that's it. And she can see all the photo proofs. And then she would do the selects and then she would tell you, I want this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So this one is one way to do it. It's just creating the secret link and then create the password and send the link with the password. And it's super easy and super quick as you saw. And this is the way I generate the proofs on Lightroom. And now I'm gonna show you the other way to do it. So once you generate the proofs on Lightroom, you would go to this website, collect, by WeTransfer and you would go here, collect by WeTransfer. You can sign up for free and I'm gonna log in. So this is my profile in WeCollect. As you see, I have some clients here as well from time ago, but I'm gonna show you how to do it from the scratch. So it's as easy as create a board here, create new board. You would put as a board name, Mariana. Here you can put the description and you can say, select certain pictures, blah, blah, blah. Create and that's it, add your first item add file, and you just have to select the pictures. I'm gonna select just a few, open. And this would be already like in the cloud, let's say. So it's already there. So the next step is just press sharing, 
and you can invite someone to view or to edit. So if you invite someone to view and you pass the link with the view, the client can just view the pictures, which is the right way. Or otherwise you can press edit and this means that that person can remove pictures from the board or I don't know, or can uh, actually modify stuff on the board. This is quite useful as well when the client wants to delete all the pictures and leave there just the selected ones. They can do that, but I don't do it that way. I normally pass the link just with the view. If you do the edit, just so you know, they can download the pictures, but I mean, there is a watermark and they cannot use it anyway, so I think that's fine. So this is up to you. But then if you press here, view, copy link, it's already copied the link. So I'm not gonna show you because you just have to copy paste in a WhatsApp message, in an email or whatever. Obviously more professional by email. And if it's from your own domain, even better. So these are two useful ways to do it in a super professional way. My favorite one is your own website because it has your domain on it. So it's branding, it's more professional, more personal as well. I don't know, it's more high-end to do it that way. So please go check out that blog with the actress because it's quite cool and some videos I'm gonna link below which I think they're gonna be very useful for you. Like the video if you didn't yet and subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon. Ciao.